and page 48 uh, part C uniform field between um, parallel plates uh, in the last session we know that the pawn charges uh, in this case we will focus on the parallel plates uh, connected to the positive it means that this part should be the positive and the other one should be negative between it the field line should be starting from positive and then ending in negative plates uh, they are parallel to each other and equal spacing because uh, the parallel plates will um, produce uniform electric field the field strength at any position will be the same uh, and also the electric field what will happen this one actually the field strength will be depends on the voltage uh, between it usually in this case EXT uh, will be maybe uh, 3 kilowatts to 5 kilowatts and also this one uh, also depends on the plate separation uh, quicker one or smaller one then more will happen now look at this voltage and fuel um, based on the definition of it what is the E fuel okay E fuel should be the voltage uh, cos D okay and look at this if voltage is higher or the separation is smaller then we will have a stronger field okay uh, this equation you should know it what is it and uh, in the later part uh, we can know it we will know that what happened for this formula okay but up to now just you need to understand what is it uh, we will explain it later Okay, example three. Uh, in this example, um, will be the experiment. We have a uh, uh, part voltage, and also we have the field uh, strength uh, built up by the parallel plates. Uh, firstly, set up the vertical metal similar to a vertical uh, parallel plate and then the separation of it we call it D is 10 cm it means that 0 0.1 meter uh, connected to EXT very high voltage 2 kilowatts and then we have a uh, aluminum foil uh, a very light and then um, attached to a plastic wall uh, this plastic wall to make it isolated system isolated from the other uh, uh, the other object okay so the charge on it uh, will keep here and then for charge the strap uh, positively uh, what you do you just need to touch the positive plate uh, for example if this one is a positive plate you just need to touch it and then using the sharing to make this part is positive uh, if like that what happened because positive and more positive will be repelled in this way and also if this one is negative then will attract in this way finally this foil will be inclined to a certain angle like that okay now this one see the discussion question number three uh, will be encountered like that uh, about 30 degree uh, repeat the experiment with different D then put a graph and also move a one okay in different position does the tra uh, strap defect higher or more okay discussion the first one why do the stand have to be insulated for example this one may be a plastic are uh, the same case even we use EXT we can make this plate negative but if this one can connect to the earth then the electron will go to the earth due to earthing and then discharge it uh, in order to avoid this uh, you should put a uh, insulator on it uh, to avoid earthing and discharging 
uh, the plate. Second question, why do we capture um, the shadow of the trap on a screen? Okay, because we want to measure the angle. Okay, more in more accurate way. Uh, once again, we cannot touch it, and also very dangerous because um, the voltage difference between the metal plate is two kilowatts. And the f the third one, how can we charge the strap? Very easy. Touch it, one of them. For example, touch the positive, it will positively charged. And then what is the meaning of the slope of the graph? V D graph. Uh, will be the mass tube of the field E uh, because based on this equation uh, what's the definition of E will be V over D so V is Y axis D is X axis Y axis the value over X axis value will be the definition of the slope okay uh, next question why do we need to defect the track by the same angle each time. Uh, if not, it means that E is attributary. Okay, then model that. Uh, cannot get a meaningful relation between V and D. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we want to keep it this angle, maybe 30 degree. Uh, if we put this trap to the other places, of course, b between the metal plates, you can find that the same degree, then what is the conclusion? You will conclude that they will have the same electric force. Okay, uh, because in this case, uh, it's also a mechanics. We have the positive, uh, for example, this one is positive one. In this case, it's positive. We have the repulsive force and also we have the attractive force. The resultant electric force uh, due to the attractive and repulsive force will be in horizontal way, like that. Okay, this one is the electric force. Uh, at the same time, this one we have the weight, mg, and also we have the tension in this way. Uh, these three forces balance together. If we can keep it this angle, 30 degree, it means that mg must not be changed because the mass cannot be changed, no change, and also the force cannot be changed because the tension will be the same for this angle. Okay, this one proves that uh, even we move this trap to the other position, they have the same uh, electric force. Okay, keep going. Uh, this one, radio and uniform fields are between two point charges uh, between two point charges uh, like that okay like that then you can think that uh, here we have two pairs one pair is Q and P the other pairs will be negative Q and P uh, because they are vector you can add them together but pay attention on the side uh, for P and positive Q the distance will, will be R for P and negative Q, the distance will be D minus R. Add them together, then we can find out the resultant. Okay, if we, we put P to the right hand side, shift to P, then what happens? You can see that R is increasing. Uh, this value, okay, this value will be decreasing. R increasing, the whole thing will be decreasing. And also, how about this? Because R low is increasing, the bracket will be so smaller than before. Then this part will be increasing. Okay, and I add them together, what will happen? E varies. But this one is increasing or decreasing depends on D and R. And how about for the parallel plate? Uh, because the formula is this, V over D. Uh, once again, pay attention. E is equal to what? Two things. For point charges, will be the Coulomb's law. For two charges, you just need to add them together due to the vector addition. But if this one is related to the two parallel plates, the formula will be like that, fixed, like that, V over D. 
okay they are not the same in different situation you will use different equation and in this v and d and here we have r and d then what happened if i put the p uh, towards the right hand side you can find that low change but why based on this equation we haven't any r and d uh, no 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 uh, we have we haven't any r but we have d okay so r it means that in this formula independent of r independent of position at any position they have the same e except you change v or you change d okay and in this table you can see that the difference between point source and parallel plates for point source the e field will be radial field longer in distance e field will be smaller uh, but for parallel plates in this position and this position and this position they have the same electric yes, field strength e formula they are different okay this one depends on the distance this one not uh, remark depends on the location of the test charge and this one is independent of it